To find the driver downloads page, you're first going to want to type in Xerox driver and then the model of the printer that you want to download. So you can see now on Google it's popped up this first link here and this is exactly where I'll need to go. So uh, once you get to the model of your printer, you'll see the drivers and uh, downloads page. You're going to want to make sure the platform is uh, whatever you're on. I'm in uh, Windows 10. Um, then I'm going to scroll down and look for uh, the print driver I want to install. Um, I usually recommend either the PostScript or the PCL6 driver. Just make sure to get the Xerox user interface Microsoft certified driver. Um, I'm going to download the uh, PCL6 uh, for the example. However, um, the PostScript will be the same, except you know it's a different file. So uh, once you uh, got the package uh, downloaded, uh, you'll see this when you open it. You're going to want to extract it. Then uh, once that's finished, um, we will copy and paste the path, which we will use uh, later in the video. While this is running, I'm going to open up um, our control panel. A shortcut to get to it is if you type run and type control, it will open up the control panel. Or if you want to go directly to the control panel with the printers, you just type in control printers. And then you can see it's uh, taking me uh, straight here. So um, to add the printer, you're going to go add printer. Um, the printer I want wasn't listed. Then you're going to hit add a local printer or network printer with manual settings. Then um, you're going to want to create the port unless it's already created. So you're going to want to find out what your IP address is. Um, in this case, I'm just going to use an example, um, but if you needed to create a new port, you would select create new port, standard TCP IP port, and then you're going to type in the IP address here. So it can be uh, whatever that is assigned to your printer. Then um, if you're doing this, you want to always uncheck the query, the printer, and automatically select the driver to use. So I'm going to go back to our driver package um, that we downloaded a few minutes ago. And then you're going to see these two files. You're going to want to double click the one with uh, that says your model name. You can ignore this one down here. And then you're going to select this top bar. Right click. Hit copy. And then we'll uh, use that for the path when you go back to the add a printer. Okay, so once you get to uh, this part, um, you're going to want to select Have Disk and then paste in what we just copied from the File Explorer. Then you're going to want to select the model that you're using, hit Next, type in whatever you, the name of the printer you want it to be, hit Next, then it's going to install it onto your computer. So once it's done downloading, um, you're going to hit do not share uh, this printer unless you're sharing it. Um, and then uh, you can set it as the default printer if you want. If not, just uncheck this. You can print a test page if you want to test, but all you have to do is hit finish. So then um, you got the print driver installed. It should be on your printer or your computer successfully. Um, and then you can see here's the print driver we just installed. So I'm going to right click and hit printer properties. Then once we're in here, we can set the print driver default. Um, so there's two places that you're going to want to do it in. First, go to advanced, hit printing default, and then you can set it to um, whatever you'd like. In this case, most people like it to be one sided, black and white, high resolution. And I always recommend to hit this green box down here and then select no banner sheet. Hit OK, hit OK again, hit OK. Now we just saved it in the um, first part of the driver, but there's another part that you're going to want to uh, save it in as well. So in the driver, you're going to want to go to Preferences and double check that it looks the same. You can see it's under the General tab, Preferences. 
looks all the same. A lot of the times it uh, won't, just a Windows glitch. And then you can hit OK, and your print driver defaults are set. Now, if you're printing using Xerox standard accounting, um, you can go in here and uh, check that as well. Um, the accounting system, Xerox standard accounting, should automatically um, pull from the printer. However, if it doesn't, you can go in and manually change that to Xerox standard accounting. So when you go to print, it will ask you for your code to print. In here, you can change uh, whether you want it to prompt every time or mask the user ID when you go to print. So now you've uh, successfully um, installed your print driver, and when you go to print, you should be able to uh, successfully print.